there are quite literally thousands of AI tools on the market right now. And because my work revolves around helping businesses use AI, I've tested pretty much all of them. A lot of them probably aren't worth your time or money, but there's a few amazing ones that can save you dozens of hours every week, and some might even revolutionize how you work. So today I'm gonna to share what I believe to be the best AI tools that you can use to do everything from boosting your personal productivity to building powerful AI automations, all the way to transforming your entire business operations. All right, starting with Whisperflow, this is a voice to text AI tool that works in any app where you need to type something. Rather than typing with your keyboard, simply hold down the Whisper hotkey, start talking, and it does the typing for you. But it doesn't just transcribe what you're saying word for word, it actually uses AI to understand what you're trying to say, and then spits out text with perfect grammar, punctuation, and with a clear logical flow. This has been such a productivity hack for me. I'm using it for everything from writing emails, Slack messages, but most of all, I use it from when I'm prompting AI tools. I just basically hold down the hotkey, start talking. I ramble for two minutes, telling the AI roughly what I want it to do. And then Whisper spits out a clear and well-structured prompt. Speaking of voice tech getting crazy, Eleven Labs has basically perfected voice cloning. All you need to do is upload around 30 minutes of audio of you talking, and then boom, there is an AI version of your voice that sounds exactly like you. Not only your voice, but how you pause, how you emphasize words, even those little quirks in how you talk. People are using it to create entire video courses, automating customer calls, or making audiobooks, all without recording anything themselves. It's kind of unsettling how good it actually is. And while we're on the topic of voice, ChatGPT voice mode in their mobile app has become my go-to companion for brainstorming. It's not the way that you'd normally use ChatGPT, typing prompts and waiting for a response, but actually having a full conversation with it. Hi, ChatGPT, how are you? Hey there, I'm doing great. Thanks for asking. Always happy to chat with you. How about you? You can talk through business strategies, get feedback on ideas, or work through any problems while you're walking or on the go. And the real super hack is after you've had a long conversation back and forth with ChatGBT on a certain topic, ask it to summarize everything you discussed in a well-structured document. This is then super handy if you're working on a new project plan, you discuss it back and forth with ChatGBT, and at the end, you have this perfect document that you can share with your team. For writing, Claude has become my secret weapon, specifically Claude projects. Think of it like creating your own team of specialized AI copywriters. Here's how it works. You create different projects for different types of writing. So I have one for writing LinkedIn posts, another one for the AI tutorials on our website, and another one for writing YouTube scripts. You just upload examples of your best work, give it specific instructions, and now every time you use that project, it writes exactly the way you want it to. For my YouTube script writing project, I literally uploaded the transcript from a two hour YouTube script writing course. And now I just tell it my video idea and it writes the script following all of those best practices. Claude is honestly the best AI writer out there. The copy sounds like me because it learned from my examples. If you use Notion, then you need to be using Notion AI. It is built right in and actually understands your entire workspace. To activate it, you just need to hit the space bar on any new line and then it springs to life. If you need meeting notes summarized, if you need action items pulled out, if you need to write a proposal, Notion AI knows your exact company's format because it can reference it from other pages. It can even search through connected Slack and Google Drive. The coolest part is AI blocks. Save prompts that you use all the time and reuse them across pages. Your whole team can use the same AI command. It's like having an AI assistant that actually knows how your company works. When it comes to AI generated images, Google recently dropped what might be the best image editing AI ever. It's called Nano Banana, also known as Gemini 2.5 Flash Image. You can completely change someone's outfit, put them in a different location, blend multiple photos together, and they still look like themselves. No weird AI face stuff or six finger hands. And it is fast, like one to two seconds per image instead of the 10 to 15 that we're seeing in other tools. Right now it's free to use in Gemini. You get 100 edits per day. Before we get into the next tool. If you're finding these tools valuable, we're actually launching a free AI starter course that shows you the complete AI tools landscape and more importantly, how to actually implement them in your workflow. Lesson two specifically breaks down every category of AI tools and when to use each one. It's completely free to enroll. The link is in the description. Just look for AI starter course. Now let's move into the tools that can help you build with AI, starting with what I'd call integration or automation platforms. While you can already get a ton of value from chatting with ChatGPT, Gemini or Claude, the real power comes when you bring AI into your automated business processes. And the traditional automation platforms Zapier, Make and N8N have gotten really good at this. They allow you to not only build AI automations, but also AI agents. 
Zapier is probably the most beginner friendly. You simply need to drag and drop to connect thousands of apps with AI. Customer email comes in, AI analyzes it, updates your CRM, creates follow-up tasks all automatically with no coding needed. Make.com, this is for when you need more complex stuff, but it's still very beginner friendly. You can see exactly how your data flows through the automation. Perfect if you're building for clients. Plus their new Make Grid feature shows you a visual map of how all the systems and automations in your company connect. It's honestly gorgeous. For the more tech savvy folks, N8N gives you the most flexibility with its open source approach. With N8N, you can create sophisticated AI agent workflows and self-host for complete control over your data. But there's a new breed of integration platforms that have been designed specifically with AI in mind and two that are absolutely worth checking out are Relay.app and Gumloop. Both are great platforms that have made it very simple for beginners to start building their first AI automations. But what I really want to highlight is that both founders, Jacob from Relay and Max from Gumloop, are constantly sharing real use cases and templates that actually work. So if you're learning AI automation, definitely follow these guys. They're dropping gold daily. Now, when you start using AI inside automations, you quickly realize that nailing your prompts becomes more important than ever. This is where the Anthropic Prompt Generator comes in. It's a tool that I use, so I never have to write a prompt from scratch. All you need to do is give it a high level one or two sentence description of what you're trying to accomplish, even a scrappy basic prompt, and it converts it into a prompt that follows all the best practices. It adds proper formatting, includes placeholders for variables and structures the output so that you can actually use AI's results in other steps of your automation. Put simply, if you're building AI automations, then you should be using this tool. Something else that is super useful for AI automations and agents is giving AI the ability to search and read websites. Fire Crawl makes any website readable for AI. It takes messy web pages and turns them into clean data that AI can actually understand. Single pages, entire websites, search results, Firecrawl handles all the annoying stuff like cookie banners, JavaScript, and avoiding detection. You can tell it exactly what information to extract and how to format it, perfect for competitive intelligence or content pipelines. Moving on from the automation platforms, and now let's look at the dedicated AI agent builders, and there's two that I want to recommend. If you're not so technical but want to build AI agents, start with Lindy, lindy.ai. The new Lindy 3.0 agent builder is in saying just describe what you want in plain English and it builds the whole agent in minutes. They also have computer mode where your agent can actually click through websites and apps like a human, plus built-in meeting recording so your AI agents can join your meetings. The interface is super clean and you can see exactly what your agent is doing. For more advanced stuff, Relevance AI lets you build seriously powerful custom AI agents. But you're not just building agents, you're also creating the tools the agent uses. Their new workforce feature lets you build entire teams or swarms of AI agents that actually work together. Like one agent finds the leads, passes them to another agent that does the research, and then hands off to a third that writes personalized messages. It's not just single agents anymore, it's an entire AI agent department working together. They've got LinkedIn automation, website scraping, basically everything a human can do in a browser, your agents can do automatically, and you have total control over the details. Google AI Studio is basically your playground for all of Gemini's features and it's completely free. The real magic is in the build section. You literally just type what kind of app you want and it creates a full AI web application. I'm talking an actual functional app with interfaces, logic, everything. You want a document analyzer, a recipe generator based on fridge photos, just describe it and you have a working app in seconds. All the Gemini APIs are built in. You don't need an API key, you don't need any setup or any billing, you can just start building. You can test every Gemini model, try different settings and see what works best for your use case. Then when you're ready, export the code or just share the app directly. Google have basically given everyone a free AI development studio, but not enough people know about it. If you want to experiment with AI apps without any technical hassle, this is definitely where you start. There's also another category of AI agents and that's browser agents. Airtop lets you build powerful browser agents that lets you automate the web just with your words. This is especially useful if you're trying to interact with a tool that doesn't have an API and you need to use a website like a human would. Just tell your browser agent what you want it to do in plain English, like go through this directory and grab all the contact info, It'll then navigate through hundreds of pages, handle the logins, compile everything into a spreadsheet, all with absolutely zero coding whatsoever. Last one for building with AI, Zite is the ultimate vibe no coding tool that lets you create real business apps without any coding. 
The AI will help design your layout, suggest improvements, and can generate complete interfaces based on your data and what you describe. It's great for client portals, dashboards, data collection apps. It connects and builds right on top of your existing tools like Google Sheets and Airtable. And you can publish on custom domains and embed your apps anywhere. Now for the heavy hitters that transform entire businesses with AI, starting with Airtable. Airtable just made AI stupid simple for business workflows. Create columns that automatically summarize and categorize data, add AI steps to workflows that enrich leads or generate content in seconds. But the killer feature, it can read PDFs and documents and automatically put the data in the right columns. The new Omni AI app builder is pretty nuts. You just describe what you want and it builds the complete business app for you with databases, interfaces, and automations, stuff only developers could do before. Now here's something that's absolutely critical in the AI era, especially for businesses, call transcripts. Every single person should be recording their meetings, and the one that I'm currently using is Circleback. This tool automatically transcribes your meetings across Zoom, Google Meet, Teams, or even in-person conversations, and it generates incredibly detailed notes that are organized by topic with action items automatically assigned to each participant. It also has an AI-powered search across all your meetings, so you can literally ask it questions like, what did we decide about our product roadmap last month? And it will find the exact moment and give you the relevant context. It's pretty clear that every business needs a CRM, and Atio is an AI-native CRM built with with AI in mind. You can deploy AI directly in your CRM, setting up research agents to tackle complex tasks like prospecting and lead routing. It's also super fast to set up. You just sync your email and calendar and Atio starts tracking everything and populates your CRM before your eyes. They also have built-in call intelligence for AI to automatically capture and store insights from any of your sales calls. While we're on the topic of sales, Clay is the go-to tool for scaling sales outreach. They basically invented the job position GTM engineer. Clay is like a spreadsheet on steroids for finding and enriching prospects. You just import a list of companies or people and Clay automatically enriches it with data from over a hundred different sources. And the AI agent feature, which has by far the best name, Clayagent, can visit any website and pull specific information you need like find the tech stack this company uses or check if they're hiring for sales roles. It'll actually go and browse their site and bring back the answer. Then you can use all of that research to write hyper-personalized outreach that actually works. Cassidy.ai lets you build AI assistants that actually know your business, not generic chatbots, but specialized assistants for each department. You can create a customer support bot that knows all of your products, a sales assistant that understands your pipeline. The knowledge base syncs with all your tools so that the AI always has the current info. Companies are using this to automate RFP responses, support tickets, competitive analysis, anything that requires deep knowledge of your own business data. Last one, super.work. Super solves that annoying problem of information scattered everywhere. You know when you're hunting through Slack, Drive, Notion, and 10 other apps for that one thing. Super's AI searches everything at once and you just ask it what you need. Like, what did we decide on pricing or get me the latest on Project X? And it finds it instantly across all your tools. The security is perfect too. Each member of your team will only get answers based on what they actually have access to. So there's no accidental surfacing of confidential stuff. It's like having a perfect memory of everything that ever happened at your company. Now there's one more amazing tool that's just come out recently and that is ChatGPT agent mode. And with so many ways to use it, I couldn't do it justice in a video like this. So click here to head over to the next video where I go over eight of the most insane use cases for ChatGPT agents that you can use either in your day-to-day -day work life, in any startup or small to medium business. See you over there.